What's up, London again? Welcome back to another video with your boy London's Way, man. Yes, indeed. As you can see, your boy been trying to stay consistent this month, man. God done gave y'all so many false hope. All them other months saying I'm going to be consistent. But as you can see, right now, man, I really been on some consistent shit with y'all, man. I want to really check in with y'all, like, on a daily basis. So, um, right now, I'm about to go ahead and go get a haircut. But I haven't ate anything right now. It's currently 9.30 a.m. Wanted to go to Chick-fil-A. And I want to say something, y'all. Everything that you that you want, you might not need. You know what I'm saying? Everything that glitz ain't glamour. What I mean by that is, I want Chick-fil-A bad right now. But I know that I'm on this diet right now, and I need to stay consistent in order to reach my goal. I got to stay disciplined, and I got to hold myself accountable. And I know that my trainer is holding me accountable right now. That he, in his head, he's like, oh, he's going to fuck up. I can't let him down. I can't let myself down more importantly. I don't want to let London gang down either. Because I got to practice what I preach. I can't be saying... Oh, stay consistent at what you do, stay down, and I'm not staying down on every part of my life. I don't want to be like a person who don't practice what they preach, a hypocrite, basically. But what I'm about to go do is I'm about to go give me a smoothie, a way more healthier uh, more, way to start my morning. So, uh, yeah, let's go get this uh, smoothie. And um, if you're new to the channel, man, I go by the name of London's Way. Uh, I make dope-ass content. Um, and welcome to the family. Welcome to London Gang. And uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that smash that like button. So let's give it, let's go. Gank. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I look fucking crazy right now. I got his hood on and shit. New whip coming soon, too, man. I don't know if I'm gonna get that double R or I'm gonna get that Eurus, man. But either or, still will win. I forgot to tell you, I'm going to LA tomorrow, man. About to do some vlogging out there. Got some business I need to handle. But you know, I'm bringing y'all with me. Hey, funny story time, real quick, y'all. So, this location I'm at right here, I literally got my hot, my car hit right here for the first time. I don't know if y'all remember. I could put a, uh, uh, I could put a clip in right now so to remind y'all. I come out of Juice Land, get me a smoothie. To my motherfucking car, fucked. Nigga done hit my shit and left, man. That's crazy, man. I was having such a good day, but I'm gonna keep my spirit high. We are gonna figure out what the fuck happened with this. Niggas be hating, man. How you pull out, hit a nigga shit and just leave, man? That shit is crazy, man. My car got hit right here, mind you. That's why I parked right over there. Cause I'm not going for that shit again. I came out of this store right here, memory lane, and my car was hit. I can't go for that again. My car can't, I can't go for my car getting hit again. Now nah, I don't got a whip, like I can't go for that. I'd walk into this smoothie store, man. Let me see what they got going on. Let's see, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Let me see what I want to say in the damn options. I'm on stand in the mail. These niggas ain't mad at these hoes that ain't play up. Since I was a kid, uh, uh, since I was a kid, uh, since I was a kid, dog, I knew this life won't fail. Uh, I ain't gon' lie, I lost my dog and stopped saying prayers. How yeah. bad little bitch live in your pocket like a square? Long uh, live my angel. Barber, man. Got me right, man. Looking like a new, like a new motherfucker right now, though. I'm As y'all know, I am the biggest, finest brown skin big nigga alive, but that's something that you already knew. So I ain't have to tell you shit like that. You already knew that I'm the biggest, finest brown skin big nigga alive. You know what I'm saying? If you a day one, a day, day one London's Way supporter, then you know I used to say that every single video. And I might have to get back to that because I feel like y'all don't forgot who the biggest, finest brown skin big nigga alive is. And it's me. Anybody else tell you that they. Are the biggest, finest brown skin big nigga alive? They lie. Me, I hold the crown for that. Your boy is hungry, man. Again, I had a smoothie a couple hours ago. I think I'm about to go grab me a salad from my favorite little spot called uh, Post Oak. I'm about to grab me a little salmon salad, man. Keep it healthy. So let's get it, let go. I'm telling y'all, man, it's the best salad in Houston right here. You know what I'm saying? Salmon salad, Caesar, lifestyle. Gang! Hey, man. I just wanted to come out here and ask y'all a quick question, man. I had a thought in my brain, cause I was over here thinking like, what means the most to me? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I had to ask myself like, what means the most to me? And I want to ask you this now. I want you to comment down below and I want you to tell me what means the most to you in life? You know what I'm saying? Is it money? Is it success? Is it notoriety? Is it your parents, your family? Comment down below right now what means the most to you and I want to tell you what means the most to me. I feel like what means the most to me is helping others reach to where they want to get. You know what I'm saying? With me still climbing the ladder because where I'm at in life, I'm in a great space in life, but this is not where it ends. My ladder is going to keep going and going and going. So I think what matters to me the most right now is just me allowing, helping others get to their next level and seeing my family happy and making sure that I can 
provide and be, a, be assistance to my family. Um, second thing I feel like that means the most to me is just being happy, genuinely happy. Not just happy when I cut this camera on. I'm talking about happy when I cut the camera off as well. Um, I feel like that's really big for me, man. Happiness and um, being able to take care of my family, man. Yes, sir. We just got to L.A., man. As you can see, man, we in L.A. right now, man. Show them the view, Homer. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, man, we at, we at the Intercontinental right now, which is the highest building in downtown L.A. Uh, as you can see, I got that shit on, too, as you can see. If y'all want the details, let's do it. This is Capitol right here. This is fully Capitol. Capitol jacket, Capitol pants, Golden Goose sneakers. Mind you, these sneakers came dirty already. I didn't buy... I didn't get these dirty. They already came dirty like that. You know what I'm saying? They came dirty. Shout out to my stylist, man, Coach Easter Stylist. What y'all rating this fit? One through ten. Let me know. Okay, okay. Let's do a little quick hotel. Hotel, uh, what's, what's it called? Tour. Let's do it. So we're going to start right here. Obviously, as you can see, I done been in this hotel plenty of times. Y'all done seen this hotel. I love staying in high quality hotels because it just motivates me. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm safe. So obviously right here, we got this nice little door right here. We got this little closet right here in case I want to put the robe on. You know what I'm saying? In case I want another cover in case, you know, a little shorty of mine I got in the room get, get a little cold or something. We're going to move on to the bathroom right here. You know what I'm saying? Nice little bathroom. Toilet right here. We're, I'm definitely going to blow it down for sure. I'm definitely blowing that down though. So, um, yeah, shower and all that. Obviously, as you can see, you got the beds over here you want to show in the room. You know what I'm saying? Which I might actually, I might actually even just upgrade to the suite. So y'all got to stay tuned for that. But I'm about to go pick up the uh, Lamborghini Urus right now. You know, I got to ride around in style out here. I was actually going to hire a driver, but it's like for LA, when I come to LA, man, I really want to like slide around where I want to go. I want to go shop and go get some food. Um, so yeah, let's go get the car, man. You know, I'm bringing y'all with me. Let's get it. I am in the highest hotel, the highest building in general in downtown LA. As y'all can see, man, look at the view, man. The view is like no other, man. I swear, like, I love staying at this hotel, man. It's so inspirational. And it's really like, when I'm right here, man, just looking out this window, every time I stay here, I just start thinking about life. Like, dang, like, this shit really could happen. You know what I'm saying? And this shit really could happen for you too, man. If it could happen for me, it could happen for you. You know what I'm saying? Shit, these blessings don't just come to me. And people like me, they can come to you too. But you gotta put that work in, man, and really, you know what I'm saying? God already did his part. It's time for you to do yours. You know what I mean? God died on the cross for all of us. You know what I mean? Whoever you believe in. You know what I'm saying? It's your time now. If you want to do stuff like this, stay in hotels like this, drive what you want, dress how you want, you have to put the work in. You have to. You got to thank God every day, man. And you really just got to believe in yourself. It, it starts within. It starts in your mind. I know y'all be like, damn, you always motivating and trying to be a preacher, but it's just like... I gotta just be real with y'all, man. If y'all wanna live like this, you have to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? It's no other way to get like this. Hey, man. <laughs> we just got stuck in the elevator, man. It was a little spooky. That's why I ain't recorded, but I should have recorded it. But we all good now, man. About to hop in this truck right now, go get this Eurus. You know, I gotta ride black truck every time, man. That's just, that's just the way I like to live, man. So I'm gonna keep living like that. Let's get it. Since I was a kid, uh, uh, since I was a kid. Uh, since I was a kid, dog, I knew this life wouldn't fail uh, I ain't gonna lie, I lost my dog and stopped saying prayers yeah. How bad little bitch live in your pocket like a square? Long live uh, my angel All that reach, all of my cousin work for a dozen He the road and stuff for oven, I was broke down Hey man, as y'all can see, man, we in that Lamborghini Urus right now, man Hey you never know, man Your boy London might just pop out with a Urus I've been telling y'all, man, that I need help trying to figure out which car I should get next because I obviously I do want a truck because I do have the uh the coupe already the um Corvette the orange Corvette so I'm looking to get a truck either a Rolls Royce truck a Maybach truck or a Lamborghini truck which one do y'all think that I should get I don't know which one do you think I should get bro I think the one you like most bro man put yourself on the camera bro they gotta see you too bro ex cow man which one do you think I should get bro yours to be honest bro you be getting these too much you're always in yours yeah yeah Okay, okay, okay. What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? Ex-Cal said I, he think I should get the Urus. What do y'all think I should get? But why do you why do you think that? Like, what, what, what makes you think that I should get a Urus? Every time we go to Atlanta or Cali, literally London, get the Lamborghini, <laughs> bro. Every time. <laughs> See, I might as well just own one. 
Thanks. Hey, man, I might just have to do that. But, uh, hey, man, we going to get some food right now. I'm super hungry from this flight. I know you hungry, too. Hell yeah. I'm starving. We about to go to this uh, Jamaican spot called We Jamming. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we be good over there. I've been seeing uh, that boy Dove videos. He's been going through a little, some stuff out here in L.A. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, I guess I got to just walk with God and continue to have faith. But, yeah, man, we on our way to the food spot. Pick up when we get there. Caribbean spot right now, man. As y'all know, I am Caribbean, and I'm Nigerian. So, you know what I'm saying? I love that type of food, for real, for real. You got oxtails right now? When we ain't got nothing else, guess what we got? Oxtails. All right, man. <laughs> Don't ever come in here and ask if we got oxtails. All right, all right, all right, all right. We ain't got nothing else. They're going to always have that. going to always have that. Yeah, let me do the oxtails, rice and peas, cabbage, gravy. I think I might switch mine, bro. I might do the, the jerk. I might do the jerk and then just put the oxtail gravy on the rice. I'm trying to think. Yeah, man. But I want oxtail too, though. Buy a side of oxtail for yourself, you know. See, unless you unless you ain't got enough money, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just, no, I'm just saying. Um, you funny as hell, bro. You can, you can do it anyway. Cause you you can budget all your stuff. If nah, you got, I ain't tripping about that, bro. I no, just no. don't want all that food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why. That's why when we say side of oxtail. Oh yeah, let me do that then. Let me do that then. The, the oxtail by itself. That's what a lot of people do. Yeah. Like, no, I want this, but well, I want look, that. give me the same thing. Just give me a couple uh, pieces of the jerk. I yeah, mean, Jim. The, I, the, the, um, you got cash on the, you? The, the liquor store right here. Yeah. That nigga is talking crazy in there, wasn't he though? That nigga said, "Oh, if you ain't got enough money, what?" You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm the richest motherfucker either. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm definitely doing enough to, for me to get myself a fucking meal. I know that much. You know what I'm saying? We kind of, but that's, but that's, that's how Caribbean people is. That's how some of my people is too. You know what I'm saying? You just learn to really just deal with that shit. You know what I mean? Don't, don't let shit like that ruin your day. You know what I'm saying? Cause me back in the day, I would have probably let that ruin my whole fucking day. You know what I'm saying? I've been pissed off. Uh, even though I know I got money, just for him even playing with me like that. I would have probably went off in that motherfucker, but I'm a changed person. When you listen, when you when you when God blesses you, you gotta change your ways, man. Hey man, as you can see, I need this food. I need these oxtails with uh, got some jerk chicken, oxtails, cabbage, and plantain. Hey man, LA be getting spooky, man. We back at the hotel and I ain't even eat right there. Listen, don't let nobody tell you that you a punk or that you a pussy because you want to protect your life. Listen, I got shit to lose. I got a family that. I got to go back to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to protect myself and whoever I'm with the best I can do, you know what I'm saying? Man, when we walked out of there, it was some spooky stuff happening, right, bro? Hell yeah. Get you to tell people posted up. See, I'm talking about dudes came in there to the restaurant. They ain't even buy nothing. As soon as we left, they left. I'm like, man, we out. But look, man, I'm not eating this food, man. I've been flying all day. I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. Hey man, we out here trying to get a thumbnail in the middle of the road. Show them what we doing, bro. Show them the other side. We in the middle of the road right now, trying to get a thumbnail. Matter of fact, Homer, just just, just, just keep recording. I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a screenshot. That look crazy. Would you get one of them? Hell yeah. I, why why would they paint it? Well, that honestly that's good marketing right there. That's actually great marketing right there. So I can't even say why would they turn it pink. That's good marketing. Hey y'all, so. We came to Bel Air trying to see if we could, uh, you know, show y'all some big boy houses. But as you can see, every house is covered. Like, you can't even see not one house up here for real. Everything is, like, covered and shit. So it's like, I'm not even going to be able to show y'all, like, the houses. I really wanted to motivate myself, and I wanted to also motivate y'all. Because it's like, damn, like, you know, I stay in a penthouse now. It's cool and all, but a nigga got goals, man. A nigga want to own a big ass mansion soon. So I just wanted to motivate myself. You know what I'm saying? It's so, it's so many, it's so much more things that I need to accomplish in order to live the correct lifestyle that I really want to live. Even though I'm living a, a wonderful lifestyle as I am right now, but you know, like I always say, the ladder keeps going. This is, this isn't like where my life ends right here. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want more out of life. You know what I mean? I want to be able to have a crib in LA you know what I'm saying? That that might cost $10 million, and, and then it, it won't be shit to me. But the only way I'm going to get there, man, is if I stay focused. And I can't I can't get too hype about what's going on right now, you know what I'm saying? Because if I start being like, oh, I already got it, I'm good, I'm, I'm rich already, that's how you slow up, you know what I'm saying? Because you get too complacent. 
and I'm not trying to get complacent. I want to stay hungry. I want to keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Get to that next level of life that I, I know I can get to. But I got to keep grinding, man. I got to keep this mind rolling the minds, you know what I'm saying? And not get comfortable. Because I got to get this crazy dream that's out my head so that I can make this shit reality. The only way to make it reality is to keep going, man. And that's all I got to keep doing, and that's all we got to keep doing. We all going to go through trials and tribulations, man, but them trials and tribulations is a part of your story. You can't let one bad, or even two, two bad months, two bad years, stop you from going hard, man. Because, like, that's a part of your story. And I always tell y'all the same words right here. If you give up today, you will a thousand percent miss out on winning tomorrow. So now if you want to miss out tomorrow, then you got to say, fuck what happened yesterday. You got to say, fuck what happened when I was six years old. Fuck what happened when I was 10 years old. Fuck what happened when I was 13. Forget that person that hurt me. Forget that person that disrespected me. Forget that person that betrayed me. You know what I'm saying? And I know that shit can be serious at times because all of us have been through so many different things and all of us have different stories, man. None of our stories is, is the same and that's what makes us unique and that's what makes us who we are today, what we've been through. But we can't let those past experiences define who we are present. Because if you do, you'll always be thinking about what happened back then. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be on your mind. But at the same time, it's like you got to use that as motivation to do better. Don't let what happened five years ago or a decade ago fuck up your life. Life goes on. You know what I'm saying? You moved on. Forgive that person. Forgive yourself. Self-accountability, man. Forgive yourself. Acknowledge what you did. Acknowledge what that person did. Forgive yourself. Forgive that person. Because if we don't, if we don't forgive, we're, we'll never be able to move forward with anything. And that's just what it is, man. But we're going to try to find some more spots out here. I'm sorry for taking up your time. You know, I always be kicking that shit, man. But let's get it. Which one is the pickup you think? I mean, I need to see those pants on though. I feel like I feel like on some real shit, bro. It's about to get hot outside though, bro. These these hard. Don't get me wrong, but it's we live in Houston, bro. This shit this shit gonna be right, right, hot right. as a motherfucker. I don't, like, I don't like how low I don't like how low like the seat is on the jeans. Like you see right there, like with the bottom, like I don't like how that them them not going them not gonna look right. Bro, I, I probably wouldn't get these because it's going to be too hot. Sweater hard, though. I like the sweater, but I mean, it's kind of plain. It's kind of regular. I fuck with this, though. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to force it. Y'all don't got no, a lot of G in here, infants? Um, no. Nah? ERD? Yeah, no. ERD? Damn. We, hey, man, I ain't going to lie. As much as I wanted to buy something, I'm not about to force it just because I'm in L.A. If I don't like it, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to just spend money for no reason. That's just, I'm not really that type of person. Like, I legit got to like some shit for me to really want to buy it. So I'm not the type of person that like, oh, or the camera on me, I got to buy something. Hey, look, if I don't love it, I ain't buying it. I got to love something. For me to spend my hard-earned money, I got to love it. And y'all should be like that too. Don't let nobody peer pressure you into buying nothing just because the camera on or just because you with a certain friend. If you don't like it, if you don't love it, don't buy it because look, the value of money, you can do a lot with money. Don't waste your money. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But I'm about to go to this other store real quick and see if I can find something. Let's see. I ain't gonna lie, fool. I got a shit bad as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got a shit so bad right now, bro. Like, to the point where, like, if I don't shit, my stomach might blow up. Because I got a shit so fucking bad. I've been having a shit for about two, three hours now, nonstop, and I ain't even do shit. Damn, my fucking stomach is killing me, bruh. Shit, that thing I'm gonna be all right. Uh, what the fuck this story he was talking about, man? I like, I like this hoodie, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, the hoodie cool. It's, it's, I like it. I'm just not crazy about it. What pants do you think you're supposed to go with those, bro? You said what? Like, what pants are you, are you trying to say that's gonna go with them low-top ricks? All right, y'all, so these is some low-top Rick Owens. As you know, I got, a, I got a lot of pairs of Rick Owens at the crib. I got a green pair, I got a black 
pair. I usually wear the Geo basket ones. I don't have a pair of low top ricks yet. So this would be new for me to get. So I'm gonna try these on, see if they fit. And let me take these off a little bit. I fuck with them. I feel like they got enough space. Y'all yeah, get these. Whoa. I guess I done finally made a purchase. Y'all fuck with them kicks. You know what I'm saying? I gotta open y'all. Y'all fashion sense up a little bit, man. We ain't shopping on that mannequin no more, man. We gotta stay deep in with this shit, you know what I mean? Under that ocean. You know what I'm saying? I got card. Of course. Okay. With a card that needs a CID. Okay. You can't see my card, though. Watch out. I see, I fuck with you. But I don't fuck with you that much for you to see my card info. End up grabbing a Rick Owens, man. Can't go wrong with a pair of Rick Owens, man. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all don't know what Rick Owens is, Look it up. It's a dope little brand, man. It's like them kicks be going with like anything, though. It's like it's like almost like a Air Force One. You know what I'm saying? You can wear a Rick on with like damn or anything. These dudes is driving a uh, fucking. Uh, uh, they don't even gotta like use they. Hold on, look. I can't even explain it. Just show it to them, bro. Nobody's driving. Yo, what the fuck? Oh hell no! Nah. Yo. You seen that shit? Yeah, they had no driver in the car. Bruh, they had... He said, well, I drive land, but we should be driver so, so. They had no driver in the car, bro. I ain't gonna lie, the world is getting on some real futuristic, back to the future type motherfucking shit, bro. We got aliens, we got motherfucking... You don't even gotta go to the store no more. They got these little things that, that I've been seeing on the side of the road. It's like robots just going and like going into stores and... I can't even explain it, y'all. I sound dumb talking right now, but I'm, I'm, I promise you, I'm not lying. I seen a little, sh it was like a little cart that was rolling on the side of the street and nobody was rolling it. It was like a cart. It stopped at a, uh, a crosswalk and anything. I ain't gonna lie. Whatever, whatever in the Elon Musk is going on in the world, these motherfuckers getting smarter and smarter, though. I know that. Shit. What up, y'all? Welcome to another day in the vlog, man. Just woke up, my face probably puffy and everything. But check out the view, man. It was crazy, man. Downtown LA, you know. I know what you're thinking. Yo, this must be very, very expensive. Yes, it is very, very expensive. But, you know, I like to see, I like to spend money where I see value at. And what I mean by that is, I see value in this hotel. When I, when I look to my right, I see nothing but chefs cooking breakfast. When I look to my left, I see a beautiful view. You know what the view does? The view allows me to look out and see everything. When you see everything, there's no stress in sight. Well, I like to stay motivated. This view motivates me. It's like, okay, I, I gotta get somewhere. I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. Like, this don't stop. You know what I'm saying? I like to spend money at the places where my mind is going to keep going. I don't want to stay stagnant. I don't want to be comfortable. I don't want to be, uh, feel like I got it all figured out because I don't. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's different levels that I'm trying to get to. And in order for me to get to those levels, I got to keep staying creative and I got to keep grinding and figuring out and learning new things. And I'm not going to learn that if I just stay comfortable and stay in my little bubble. You know what I'm saying? I perform best when my back is against the wall. You know what I'm saying? So I love a challenge and I love to be tested. So me staying in a hotel like this, it's open my mind up. And I like quality, you know what I'm saying? I stay deep in with this, yeah, I am down. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. But yeah, man, we about to get some of this food. You already know, man, we about to stay deep in. We got to come, yeah, come with me, so you got to see this food too. Like I always been telling y'all, follow me on Snapchat, because guess what? What I'm about to do right now, y'all not going to be able to see. Only, only my people on Snapchat is gonna be able to see this. So follow me on Snapchat at London's Way Number One. Follow me right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm about to show up all the food that we got. But I'm not showing it on the vlog, I'm showing it on Snapchat. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm over here about to fall and shit. But yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie, I think I'm off. I think I might be moving to LA, man. I might be getting a spot out here, man. I don't know, man. For some reason, I'm just feeling the vibes out here, man. I'm feeling the vibes out here, man. Yeah, I'm feeling the vibes out here, man. For some reason, I'm just feeling the vibes out here today, man. You know, I would never live here full time, but. I definitely would get a spot out here. It's either it's either here or Miami. What y'all think? Cause I really, the reason why I like Miami is because like it's tropical. They got the water right there. Exotic whips everywhere. LA cool too, but it's I don't know, man. I never really thought I would live in LA, man. But the way I'm feeling right now, man, I think I really like the vibes out here, man. What y'all think? LA or Miami? 
I need y'all input to comment down below. LA or Miami? Which 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 place would you really want to see vlogs from? LA or Miami? Where do you think you'll get the best vlog from? Let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? What you think, Over? Uh, I think both. But both. Miami Miami do got the boats though. That's gonna cost though. I'm both talking about both. That's gonna cost a fee. Shit. You probably, you probably can't see the Hollywood sign right there. It's way over there, but I don't know where I'm gonna live at in LA yet. Probably like I don't think I want to live down here, like downtown. Like, I'd probably go to like Glendale or something like Beverly Hills, Calabasas, Crenshaw. Oh, no, I ain't going to Crenshaw, though. No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Compton, I ain't living nowhere over there. Shout out to them folk over there. It's just not for me. I'm gone. All right, y'all, man. That's the end of the vlog, man. I know this vlog was like all over the place, y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Successful LA trip. I think I'm going to come back, though. I think I'm going to come back to LA real soon, man. I'm on, I think, honestly, next time I'm going to actually look at some cribs and um, look at a few houses, man. Because I don't know. I might end up going with L.A. or I might just go with my first mind, which is Miami. Because I'm in Miami so much. But I feel like me just looking at this view right here, y'all, like, it's like very, very inspiring. So, I don't know, man. I, I don't know where I'm going to move to yet. But I know it's going to be somewhere. It will be either Miami or L.A. But I'm not leaving Houston, so don't, don't worry. I'm not leaving Houston. Houston will be my main spot that I live at. I just wanted a second spot just for when I want to get away and, you know, just catch a vibe somewhere else, change the vibrations, change the locations. But yeah, man, I guess I got some thinking to do on the real. But I um, just want to say I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, man. And um, you can do whatever you want to do in life, man. You just got to believe in yourself. And you got to believe and you got to forgive. And for you got to forgive but never forget. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, a lot of times we got people that done did us bad and stuff. Forgive, but never forget. If you don't learn how to forgive, you'll never get to the next point because you're still stuck in the past. If you keep looking back, you're going to trip going forward. Remember I said that, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Let's get it. Let's go. Till next time, gang. This bitch dead crazy. I'm on medication. It's a slight delay.